so hello friends i hope you all are doing well okay so in our uh, previous lecture uh, we had discussed about your uh, you, uh, we had discussed about your switch case statement okay so uh, today let's uh, uh, let let's discuss about the loops in java okay so uh, before gonna uh, further uh, further start our today lecture uh, first of all let's uh, let's understand the need of your loops okay uh, uh, first of all uh, before uh, uh, before I start uh, reading any topic you have to uh, know about the basic need that uh, why we gonna uh, why we gonna study that uh, particular topic okay and then uh, we will see the further uh, more uh, concept in the detail okay so uh, let me share my screen and then uh, we will discuss about the, our loops in java okay so i uh, hope my whole screen is uh, vis uh, all of you vis visible now okay so your loops in java let's uh, discuss about the loops in java okay loops in java c uh, let's take an example like uh, you have to print uh, let's take an example like you have to print name okay you have to print print a name print a name that is india okay india for the five times for five times okay then uh in general uh what we gonna do that uh we will gonna do that uh we will uh print our system dot out dot print ln statement for the five times okay so inside this india okay uh we will gonna repeat the same code of line for the uh five times uh, so that uh, we will able to print it india okay india india okay so uh, then it will gonna print your india for the five times see uh, let me run my code india 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 but uh what if uh what if i'm gonna told you that i have to print india for the hundred times then uh you have to uh write the same line of code for the hundred times hundred times so uh so this is not good practice you know uh this is not good uh practice for the uh writing your same same piece of code for the hundred lines thousand lines and uh, uh you can say that the uh thousand of uh, uh lines of uh your same piece of code okay so for uh, uh for getting prevent from this kind of a uh, problem uh we are using the concept of loops in java okay so uh, uh basically loops uh, loops consists of your uh, properties uh, property in which uh, we have to simply uh, we have to simply told that hey i have to print my uh, hello india like uh, you can say that like i have to print my uh, hello india for the 10 times and then our uh, our uh, loop will gonna print it automatically for the 10 times for us okay uh, simply uh, we have to provide a condition like uh, we have to print 10 times retirement thousand times as well okay so uh, there are two types of uh, loops in our uh, java like while loop and for loop okay so uh, there are two types of loop okay two types of loops loops in java okay first one is your while while loop and uh, second one is your for loop okay for loop so uh, these are the two type of loop in java okay so in our today lecture, uh, we will gonna discuss about our while loop. Okay, uh, we will gonna discuss about our while loop. So uh, let's make it comment once. So 
let's uh, discuss about our java while loop okay so uh take this same example like i have to print the india for that uh you can say that five times okay uh by using the while loop okay so uh the basic syntax of your while loop is inside your uh while okay inside your uh, while uh we will gonna pass any condition like uh we'll gonna pass a, a simple condition like my n uh the uh your uh you can say that the condition will gonna told that your while loop gonna run till then your n is greater than zero okay my uh, while loop uh, will gonna run till then your n is greater than zero and then inside this i am gonna print what india india okay india and after that i am gonna uh, decrease my n one by one okay so uh, let's take my a n is equal to five uh, because i have to uh, print india for the five times okay so uh see uh here i just uh wanted to print my india for the five time uh then i'm i'm uh, uh gonna take the int n n is equal to five and i just uh pass it a condition that till then my n is greater than zero like uh whenever uh whenever my n is greater than zero then uh your while loop gonna return a true value and in that particular all the cases our this piece of code is gonna print out and then our n is gonna decrease by the one okay so if uh we will gonna dry run our program then uh here your int n bravo five okay then uh uh your uh, your compiler uh will go and execute your while loop okay and uh it, inside your uh, loop uh, there is a condition uh here like is your five is greater than zero then yes your uh, five is greater than zero then your system dot out dot print ln statement gonna execute here okay and after printing your system dot out dot uh, print ln like india once time then your value of n gonna decrease by one then now your uh, value of n is become four okay so now your uh, your compiler is tracked back again and uh, now it gonna check like four is greater than zero then uh, yes your uh, four is greater than zero so now this line of code is gonna e execute uh, one time more so it, it will gonna print india once again and now again your uh, value of n is gonna uh, decrease so your uh, value of n uh, was 4 and now 4 minus 1 is equal to 3 now your uh, value of n is gonna uh, become 3 here okay and now it will track back again okay so uh, now uh, it will check the condition is your 3 is greater than 0 then yes your 3 is greater than 0 so your india is become printed one uh, once again and now your n is uh, get uh, decreased by one then your uh, value of n is become two now it's uh, check the value again so now it it will gonna print india once again india okay and uh, now your value of uh, uh, n is become one and uh, uh, one is greater than zero so it will gonna print india once time again okay and now your value of n is become zero okay and uh now at this particular condition if your uh your compiler is gonna return to your condition and uh try to check it like your zero is greater than zero then no uh here your uh zero is not greater than zero so uh here your uh your this particular condition is become false okay then your compiler is get out from your while loop okay so uh, by using this condition uh, uh, we can able to print your uh, print your 
India for the five times. Okay. So let's uh, run this program once, uh, then uh, we will want to check that it is uh, working or not. So uh, run your program. Then see here, India is become printed for the five times. Okay. Uh, you can print your India for the any numbers. Okay. Uh, let's print your uh, India for the 10 times. So see. India, 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 India. Okay. It is going to print for the 10 times here. So uh, this is all about your uh, Java while loop. So uh, your your while loop is gonna execute with uh, uh, with uh, one kind of uh, more method that is your do while loop. Okay. So uh, basically the concept of your uh, you can say the do while loop is if if your uh, while loop first first condition is gonna run at that particular condition your do uh, do while loop is gonna execute at least one either your condition is wrong or right okay either either your condition is become false uh, but your uh, do do while loop uh, will gonna execute once uh, once time is fixed okay so uh, basically uh, uh, you can uh, you can uh, learn uh, you can learn about your do do while loop uh, in detail uh, from the internet uh, uh, you can say that the internet video so uh, it is it is all about your uh, while loop concept and in our uh, next next upcoming video uh, we will discuss about our for loop okay so till then keep keep learning keep growing okay happy coding see you tata bye bye have a nice day